Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, we're gonna do a comic book haul video. And uh, I've been waiting for this comics, comic haul to come to me um, for about a couple of months now. Um, basically, this is uh, a comic haul from a seller we've bought before. It's, um, it's the person where we buy a whole range of comics from golden age all the way to the modern age. I think we've done at least three, four, comic haul videos from this guy and he used to have two different uh, user accounts on ebay and he just transferred everything over to one account i think we've done at least at least three or four okay and um, the guy's a funny guy because um you know i've caught at him before and the arrangement we have is he puts up a lot of comics and they're all singles he never puts batches of stuff together so you know sometimes i buy stuff and i as soon as you know i get some comics if i want some comics auctions and usually there are auctions and if they don't sell on the auctions he puts on buy it now right and sometimes i buy it now sometimes most of it is just auction right and then every time i get comics from at the beginning i send him a little message saying if it's okay to hold off for a while and have a one big package delivered in one shot and he's always yes and he charges a maximum like $22 Canadian, no matter how big the box, right? So sometimes I think the hauls we've gone are really big, but this haul is about, you know, it's about 75 comic books. Okay, let me show it to you. This is the haul we got, okay? And I pulled the trigger on this one a little early uh, because um, I wanted to start the comic book readings that we've been planning on doing reading set number four plus the additions we've already added on right and there's a couple of comic books here that i want to read for you guys right i've never read them and i really want to read these two comics and i'll show you what they are but basically i didn't want to wait any longer because i wanted to start the readings and another reason is uh this guy's sort of a, I don't know if he's eccentric or he's who he is or whatnot. Sometimes you can't get a hold of him for a while and then he sends a message, apologizes, and gives you meaning or reasons why he hasn't been around that are like, you're like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about the comics. So he did this like two, three times with me for these comics. So I sort of, sort of just went, okay uh let's just send these ones over right and uh for this lot and as, as i mentioned we have bought um uh, you know from golden age silver age copper bronze modern age comics and there's 75 books here and just so you know we're also live streaming this as well right so i'm gonna pop up a little table that i've got set up here for the people watching live stream and you'll be able to see when you're watching this recording uh, the table popping up and what you see right now is because they're all individual comics they're not sets right so basically what i do with the seller is you know you have to make the payments on ebay like within a month or something so sometimes i buy for a few days and then make ran you know payments catch up on the payments and do what sometimes i wait like two or three weeks right so what you see here is basically the different payments I made with the guy, which is nine sets, right? Sometimes there were, you know, buys over a few days. Sometimes there were just buys on that day, as you can see with the prices, right? And what ended up happening is the first um, six sets, when I went to pay, right? And these were sort of grouped together. He sends the billing to me, right? He groups the stuff together and says here's one batch here's another batch here's another batch and sometimes i pay right away sometimes i wait until i get a few of these batches right so i had six of these sets waiting to be paid and then i got a little email from ebay saying 15 percent discount through everything right and i've gotten those mass emails that ebay sends out and they usually send out during quiet times and i think i've mentioned this before where you know i try to buy some comics during August from eBay because August is a quiet time you can get really good deals and January and February because everyone's tapped out after Christmas right so those are two good times to do this so I got an email from eBay saying you know you get 15% off so when you go to checkout I went to pay all six sets together I entered the coupon code and it gave me a 15% discount on the buy as well so that was a nice treat 
Okay. And then uh, basically what ended up happening is I got 75 books from the guy and they range. Some of them are just 99 cent dollar. Some of them were more expensive and there's only two comic books in this lot that are devils, right? So the total bill for this thing was $200 US backboarded with shipping, right? Delivered or converting that to Canadian dollars is $260 Canadian. That's including the discount, right? So the discount for the first six sets ended up being you know $22 US or $30 Canadian right so I saved about you know because I, I didn't have a discount coupon for the set seven eight and nine basically ended up saving around 11 12 percent off the whole lot right which was a good deal so it covered the shipping plus some right so that's what it this package is 75 bucks basically it ended up costing me 264 per unit US or 348 350 per unit canadian okay so let's crack this this baby open okay and there's some nice books in this okay i'm gonna take the table down for those watching live uh doop, doop, doop. where are we here we go so let's take the table down because hopefully this will be easy it's a little smaller but it's really packed i can feel it right and i got this yesterday and i wanted to open this up asap right so i announced the live stream speedy gonzalez style even before i got it just to make sure but i gave myself a uh, day day buffer just in case the package was going to be delayed on the last leg right It's all tight, tight, tight. Look at this. I hope you put back. Yep. Check this out. So he's packed up like tight. There's no bubble wrap or anything. There's a little bit of extra cardboard. And the last two comics he put on top. Right? So take a look. Is it two? Oh no, he packed them like this. How many did he put on top? Oh no, he's put them sideways. Okay, so he's he didn't put them on top, it was sideways. Okay, sweet. So I'm just gonna, whoop, I'm just gonna put this down. And what I need to do, I need to open up. Uh, I should have opened this earlier as well, actually. But basically, I'm gonna open up my eBay account. And uh, we're gonna search these as we go to, so I can tell you what the condition of these was okay if we hit something that's uh, that's uh, uh, that I'm not 100% sure on but these ones uh, check this out so these ones were uh, yeah I do have to find you the prices so let me do this let's open up the search thing for this let's see if we can do it yep so let me bring this guy a little bit closer we've positioned our, ourselves tight okay and let's make sure we're straight let's, make, let's check it out okay this is miracle man alan moore's miracle man let me put these guys up and that by the way i just because this is all over the place and this is uh, you know I did some research into the books we ended up buying I was doing some research as you know his auctions were coming up and he puts out a fair bit in chunks so I I try to you know get my hands on you know as much as I, I can afford right so there was a few that I couldn't get that I really wanted uh, but because they jump all over the place I did a fair bit of research uh, quick research while the auctions were going on and research for this live stream and I ended up taking <laughs> some notes on these of the different books that we got right so I'm not I don't think I'm gonna go through all of this that I wrote down I just found it interesting so I kept on going down rabbit holes reading articles about the creators and there's some some gems here I found some stuff after the fact uh, after getting the books being shipped to me 
um, that I didn't know while I was bidding on these. If I knew it, I would have bid a lot higher. I'm just glad to get them for the price I ended up getting, right? So check this out. Let me do this search. This is Miracle Man number nine. Okay. I'll put the, these guys up. Make sure, you know, while you look at the cover, I'll tell you what the conditions of these is. Okay. So this is Miracle Man number nine. Let me open this up. And he, and I ended up winning this for a dollar 45 US. And he's graded as a 8.59. Okay. I haven't read Alan Moore's Miracle Man. Incredible, right? I will be at some point. I do have, I believe I have almost a whole set now. Okay, but I'm, the odds are I'm going to grab a trade paperback. I think I read a couple of issues back in the 90s, but I can't remember at all, right? I never completed it. So at some point I'm going to grab a trade paperback and read this thing because I've heard amazing things about this. Okay, amazing things about this. Okay. So that one cost a dollar 45 and it's alan moore and the the artist for this switched up i looked at this up um from uh you know the different issues so i you know i don't know too much about it all i know all i know is amazing and this is miracle man number seven okay this one ended up costing me 99 cents and this was 859 dollars us uh, not, sorry uh, 8.59 graded and it cost 99 cents and this is one of the ones I don't think I had okay the cover doesn't ring a bell here's another book I picked up uh, couldn't you know I have to do it this thing cost me I'll check it up again uh, but it's uncanny x-men number 150 Chris Claremont's uncanny x-men let me see if I can find it first on uh let's show you the cover okay where are we there we go so uncanny x-men number 150 ended up costing me 99 cents right and he's graded this thing at seven seven point five ah it's a good deal it's a nice deal okay very happy to have this i already have this i have a I don't X-Men is probably the uh, the title that I have the most copies of the longest run for okay Hellblazer is close I got uh, Hellblazer is close but I think X-Men uh, does it uh, because I've been collecting X-Men uh, well there's a lot more X-Men than there's Hellblazer right beautiful very happy to have this I might pop this up. I haven't read a uh, Claremont uh, X Men for actually. No, I've been reading some of the True Believer stuff, uh, but happy to have it. Check this out. While we're on the X Men discussion, Astonishing X Men number one, the retailer incentive issue. Okay, and this one. It fetches a fairly high price uh, I mean there are some people chasing it uh, I got this for the 99 cents <laughs> right this didn't send the one I believe it is anyway and he's graded this thing as 9.6 9.8 and as you know the seller I've mentioned this before uh, he he really lowballs his low-grade comics and it really high balls his high-grade comics so he lists stuff that are you know that are like 9.810 and they're not 9.810 uh you know 9.8 would be 9.6 9.4 and if he's graded this thing as 9.6 9.8 i would say it's around 9.4 and it looks like uh very good shape there is a slight little see that little white mark there so that might kick it down to a nine or something i don't know 9.2 uh, but i would have to look at this um, it could be from the plastic is it no it's not from the plastic but i would have to look at these under natural light under natural light 
you see the flaws in comics a lot better okay so this was a great deal for 99 cents let's pull up a few more and again we're gonna be jumping all over the place with this depending on what we're getting what we're picking up <laughs> check this out oh here's another miracle man let's pick up the miracle oh man I gotta show you this nice nice okay let me show you another miracle man because it fits with the other ones right here's a miracle man number six and it should be on the same uh, around the same grade let me look this up okay let's see oh here it is nice so here's the curve from miracle man number six again it's alan moore's miracle man okay it should be anyway from 1986 right uh the miracle man is from the 1980s all right i should be giving you guys the dates as well my apologies and this one cost a dollar 50 us and he's graded this thing as 8.59 should we take a look at an inside page let's look at an inside page okay let's look at an inside page the collector zone <laughs> this is check this out uh it's got a comic shop thing at the back thing not comic shop like that where the person bought these things they actually got look at this thing they actually got it uh the thing it's got the barcode on it so it must have been a comic uh, a fairly large place where is it jacksonville minnesota look check this out i'll show it to you guys i'm not endorsing this these, these people or anything but this is and i bought this this seller by the way is from canada so this comic book uh the board anyway is collector zone from uh, jacksonville minnesota interesting or the bag is from there oh the bag is color-coded or barcode and the board anyway weird i haven't seen that before in this comic books let's take a look at this i'm getting the reflection off the yeah if he's graded to say 8.59 I would definitely say it is 8.5 we've this guy his his grading is legit i like his grading right take a look i'm showing you side pages of this oh this looks great man i haven't looked at one of these for a long time alan mars look at this beautiful right let's check this out miracle man <laughs> nice <laughs> take a look at this beautiful right yeah oh wow look at this alan moore story right chuck uh, beckham did the art wayne truman letters and ron cortine colors uh cortini colors take a look at this beautiful this will be an amazing read really i've heard amazing things about the series and um alan moore was producing some amazing work back in the 90s back in the 80s and 90s okay back in the 80s and 90s amazing work amazing work okay take a look at this <laughs> this was one of the buys that i got i was very happy with let me bring it up on the uh do i have to do a search for it or are we good there it is take a look at this now before i show it to you <laughs> it's it cost me 11.50 us right and it's graded at 1.5 1.8 ec comics okay i'm gonna take it out of the bag just so we can take a look at it because it's in the description <laughs> so 
is a three-dimensional comic, right? And he said, uh, here's a description. Comic is 1.5, 1.8. Cover is detached. Comes with glasses, but not original. So this is what the guy's done. <laughs> He's put 3D glasses as you get from like hokey pokey from whatever dollar dollar stores or whatnot and thrown away. So we're gonna take this out and look at the cover, right? So this is three-dimensional. Three-dimensional, I believe it's the only 3D comic, EC comics put out. Okay. Um, don't quote me on this, but I'm gonna let you know. I'm definitely gonna be putting these in Mylar bags. I do have Mylar bags, so I'm gonna leave this out. <laughs> Take a look at the glasses. <laughs> Crazy, I can't believe the guy included like hokey pokey glasses on this. Let's see. Oh, cover is still attached. Take a look. That's not bad. So, cover is not detached. So, that's really good. Take a look. Let me bring this up. Beautiful. Let me bring it closer. I don't have this. We've done EC comic book readings, right? We've read uh, the two annuals that they put out and one or two other ones. And we got one set up for reading set number number four, right? Come with, come with me, dear reader. That's what the text says. Come with me, dear reader. Come into the third dimension if you dare. For you may never come out. On the inside, two 3D viewers. Well, we don't have the originals. Nice. I'm not going to tilt this open up the pages. I'm sorry. Because I don't want the cover to be detached. To get detached. Let me see if I can tilt it. See that? It's <laughs> partially slipping. So maybe we'll take a look at this at another time, right? But... And it came out in 1954. This is pre-code EC Comics, right? I can't believe I got it for 11.50. Fantastic deal. Fantastic deal. Okay, let's put this guy down. And let me tell you. And again, if you want to know, uh, you know, what EC Comics are like, they're very sought after. They're extremely collectible. Um, but we've done at least three readings of EC Comics. <laughs> Let me put these glasses away. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully I can use them to, to read it, right? But let me, sh let me tell you who is... My notes are... What do you call it? Uh, Randomish. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Three-dimensional. Eternals, beyond the grave. Oh, where are we? Where are you on the last thing? There it is. So these are the people that worked on this comic, the three-dimensional EC comics, number one from 1954. Al Feldstein, Bernie um, Kringstein, Wally Wood, Graham. Ingalls, Harvey Kurtzman, <laughs> George Evans, and Jack Davis, right, in one comic. Very happy to have it. Very happy to have it. Okay. Let me show you some other comics. These ones came out... Ah, oh, here, let me find these. And I didn't know... Uh, and usually when this guy puts stuff up, uh, what I end up doing, I just, it's, it's, I consider it to be sort of research. I look at the comics and see what they are. Sort of me passing time and relaxing. It's my downtime to a certain degree. And I do a little history. I, I learn a little bit um, and whatnot, right? And this comic, where are we? This is Planet of the Apes, Blood of the Apes. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me check this out. Da, 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 da. Um, Planet of the Ace, Blood of the Ace. No, this one I want to show you first. So, this comic 
uh, Planet of the Apes Forbidden Zone. Okay. This is number two. And when I looked at this, I like Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes movie is uh, the first movie that came out, I believe, in the 1960s and 1970s with uh, Charles and Heston. Um, it was amazing. I remember watching that movie when I was a kid and I was sold on Planet of the Apes. I've watched the multiple numbers down the road. I don't know how far I've gotten, at least five, four, four or five. I don't know, I can't remember. And I've read some of the comics, but I didn't know about this one. I wasn't, you know, an avid Planet of the Apes collector. And I just checked into it and I looked online and the comic places, the websites that you can buy, back issues, they don't have it. If they have it, it's expensive. And on eBay, it goes expensive. I guess it's low print run on this. And this was packaged in together with Planet of, Planet of the Apes number two, Blood of the Apes, I believe. Anyway, let me click on this thing. All right? Yeah, it was packaged. So these two comics were packaged together, right? This one, the Blood of the Apes, Planet of the Apes, Blood of the Apes, uh, it doesn't, you know, it's going for, you know, dollars, it's just a dollar, like it's on the, on the cheap side. Both of these were graded, this was graded at 8.5, 8, 8.5, and this was graded at 9.6, 9.8, right? This one, though, Forbidden Zone, for some reason, I guess it was a low print run, it fetches a fair price on eBay, okay? I ended up picking up both of these for 99 cents. Uh, okay. Or $1.50 Canadian. It was depend it depended on if it was Canadian site or um, what do you call that? Uh, American eBay site. Okay. It's cool. I'm, I'm interested to see uh, what this story is about. Why it has a low print run. I might look at the history of this. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but it's cool to have. Let me show you this one. This is, um, I, we should have two copies of this, okay? This is Wolverine, um, a dark Wolverine, issue number 85. And this was one in 55, uh, sorry, one in 15, okay? And, uh, and this should be graded. Uh, it was an incentive cover. Let me... Let me find the other one. So one of them, right, he had graded at 9.810, and another one he had graded at 9.810. So they're both 9.810s, okay. And this came out in 2007, so it was one in 15 uh, variant cover. Oh, uh, sorry, 2010, and it was one in 15 variant cover. One of them I paid 99 cents for, and the other one I paid 204 US, right? 99 cent US, 204 US. It's a nice cover. I believe it's, um, uh, oh my God. Uh, I forgot the name. Uh, <laughs> I gotta look it up now. I oh, apologies. Uh, Bertrude, uh, I hate Fairyland. Scotty Young, I believe it's Scotty Young cover, but we'll do a double check on this thing, okay? Let's bring it out. And I love Scotty Young. And is this a 9.8? It's a mint copy. 9.8? No. <laughs> Nothing's really 9.8. <laughs> Let's check it out. So I would say 9.4, right? To me, that's fine. I'm okay with it. Da, 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 da. Where's the cover? Pencils. So it was, it's written by uh, Daniel Way and Marjorie Lu. Uh, pencils is Stephen Segovi. Inks is Sam Smith. Uh, colors, assistant. Cover art, Stephanie. Sujovi with uh, Rain Berodo. Okay, I thought it was Scotty Young, but I guess it might not be. Nice artwork. Check this out. I don't know the story. Okay. 
big pages, big panels. I wonder if the whole thing's like this or is it stylized? Let's check it out. No, it looks like a lot of big panels. Take a look. Cool. Nice. Let's put this back. So I grabbed uh, I grabbed it because I checked on the prices and it was going for a dollar and two copies of something, uh, one in fifteen if you can get it on the on the cheap. Uh, I'm okay with it if I'm getting a package sent to me already anyway, right? Here's a Wonder Woman. Let's close this off. This is, let me find it. Let me show you the cover for this. Wonder Woman Flash, and the bottom, you see uh, Reverse Flash and, and Cheetah, right? So let me see if I can find it. Where are we? There we go. So this is Wonder Woman, one, uh, sorry, 214, okay? came out in 2005 and it cost 99 cents I paid 99 cents for this and it's graded at 9.0 uh, 9.2 9 9.2 9 okay not a bad price good price cool cover I don't know the story on this at all together against hero their foes Wonder Woman and the flash I like the flash. I like Wonder Woman. Why not? Why not? Let's grab some more. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, here's the other one. Let me show you this one too. So here's the other Wolverine. Right? Same deal. I don't know which one was 99, which one was 2, but average dollar fifty a pop. Right? check this out I really wanted to grab this one let me get the info for this let's get the info for this great ex great exploits number one okay let me find it Nice cover. Hopefully, it's not too glossy. No, it's not. I've placed the light so we don't get too much glass. Hopefully, anyway. All right. Let me find it on here. The grade on this was mid grade. It came out in 1957. Okay. And this was one of the expensive ones. I think it was the second most expensive book I bought. It cost two fifty. Okay. Oh, sorry, not two fifty. 1250 right and it's graded at 4.55 and his mid-grade stuff is very legit he lowballs his mid mid-grade low balls the low grades low balls the mid-grade in general i would give a higher grade for his low grades and mid grades but a lower grade for his really top grades right and the uh, let me read you tell you who this is right bernard Kringstein, right? He's one of the artists, one of the people that worked a lot on EC Comics. He was one of the creators, one of the uh, one of the artists for the three-dimensional EC Comics number one that we got, right? So he's in this as well. He's done work in this as well. Okay, fantastic stuff. Very happy to have him. And um, there's an Italian artist here. I wrote down his name Enrico Bagnoli okay and there's another guy here that's done some work Art Petty I don't know uh, either of those artists okay but I know of uh, Bernard uh, Kringstein he did uh, I think he did a fair bit of work for EC Comics and Classic Illustrated I believe as well okay very happy to have this uh, 
at mid gray. Should we crack it open? Let's, should we take a look at this thing? Let's take a look at this thing. I like to take a look at this thing. This is one of the ones I really was itching to get to get my hands on. And the publishing house for this is Red Top, I believe. And they didn't do too many comics. Uh, I'm not sure how many comics they put out, but they didn't do very many. Take a look. So not bad. Definitely mid grade right five five point five he's graded at four point five but I would give a higher grade than four point five on this right nicely attached and some of this is uh, reprint some of it original I believe the frogman the first uh, one here is a reprint the first story here yes very classic panels panel work like EC Comics, right? From the Golden Age. Beautiful. Terrorist, a true spy story. Take a look. Right. Yeah, I would definitely grade this higher than uh, 4.5, that's for sure. Nice. Very nice, let's throw this back. Great ex exploits number one, and there's only uh, one issue of this. I believe, I believe. I looked at a lot of stuff the last couple of days. <laughs> I kept on reading about artists and creators and and whatnot. So it was fun. Action comics, action comics. Action Comics number 844 that came out in 2006 okay ended up costing me 99 cents US okay and he's graded this thing as 9.810 okay and this is the variant cover I believe this is um, who did this Andy Kubert Kubert and the Kubert, 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 right? <laughs> yeah. Nice cover. Jeff Johns, Richard Donner, Adam Kubert. Andy Kubert, wow. So his son was doing the pencils. That's cool. I believe so anyway. 99 cents. Well worth it. Bagged and boarded. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, this one. I bought these ones uh, for 99 cents. They came together. Okay. Midnight Surfer special. Okay. Only one man can stop him. Dread. <laughs> like this. <laughs> On a cover. You're crazy. Right? When did this come out? I should look at it. And blood strike blood brothers prelude blood strike rob layfield right so these two came together i paid 99 cents for them and uh this one blood strike is 93 and this one is 92 okay uh the reason i paid it because uh i got these because i like this cover it's like it's i don't know it's like what and blood strike i never picked this up when it first came out okay and i don't i didn't have it i don't have it in my collection so it's i don't i don't mind having blood strike in my collection okay what are the early image stuff i do have some other uh like everyone during the 90s do have other uh, image stuff but i didn't have that one i dropped image uh before this one came out okay this one happy to have this one let me do a search nexus i used to read nexus some of it anyway i, I don't remember very much um, back in the 80s okay 
uh, Nexus came out in 1981 with Nexus number one it was a I think it was a oversized it was a magazine size this is Nexus 100 okay and it's signed and numbered and I ended up paying 489 US for this okay and he's graded this thing at 9.810 and this thing is signed is done um, by the people who created I don't know their names I didn't memorize the names apologies let me, let me find them did I even write it down did I write it down did I write it down? Nexus, where are you? Nexus, uh, by Mike Barron and Steve Rude, right? And it's got the signature or the stamp here, right? And it's sealed up. Take a look. It's sealed up, right? And this is number 179 out of 300. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna crack it open I don't think I will Nexus 100 it was selling I guess originally check out the price on it 24.95 right so happy to have it for 489 <laughs> right. I like Nexus at some point that's uh, I, I think I will at some point nexus and badger i used to love reading badger um the first series i read uh, some of it and the second series as well um, nice 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 <laughs> look at these okay these ones uh they're all from the same feel okay that's gonna be let me see if I can find each one individually because some of them are mid-grade some of them are low grade but these are Walt Disney comics and stories Carl Barks right and that's the reason I grabbed all these and uh, they're basically I basically ended up paying a uh, dollar a pop for them so it should be easy to find them by the numbers uh, so I can tell you the grade on them here's Walt Disney comics and stories number 238 okay and again 99 cents some of these I paid a little bit more because they were mid-grade uh, mid-grade goes a lot more expensive uh, but he's graded this one uh, as 1.5 1.8 and just looking at this thing this is a much higher grade than 1.5 1.8 uh, what does it say comic is off-center and center four is detached center center fold is detached uh, this seller as soon as something is detached or a chunk is missing he just kicks it down to a two or something uh, which it shouldn't be as far as I'm concerned anyway um, people who are professional graders might correct me on this okay should we take a look let's take a look let's take a look at some Carl Barks right and Carl Barks, uh, uh, the, the stuff he did on Walt Disney Comics, uh, they're sought after. Right? Now, check this out. Here's a centerfold that's detached. Let's hold up the centerfold. <laughs> look at this. Like seriously and this is uh, when did this come out this is 1950s it should be anyway right 10 cent should be 1950s oh 1960 right at the tail in 1950s so number 238 right here we do in Louis take a look the motion in car barks is fantastic beautiful stuff beautiful stuff uh, if I was gonna give a gift to a child I would uh, go on eBay and buy Carl Barks comics for a dollar a pop and give him a whole handful <laughs> right let the kid go crazy enjoy the comics right fantastic happy to have happy to have and there's a few of these 
Okay. Walt Disney Comics and Stories number 228. Let's see if we can find 228. Let me tell you what the, what the grade on this one is. 228. 28. Boop. There's that one. So this is from 1959. And uh, this one cost me 99 cents. And he's graded this thing at a 1. Why are they graded at a 1? The cover is... I might take some of these and just uh, put them up. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, right? Just have a wall of, just a row of Donald Duck and Huey, Dewey and Louie, right? Beautiful to look at. Amazing artwork, really. Right? Take a look. A one to me is like when the cover is like missing half <laughs> of the trunk, right? Should we crack this open? No, we didn't. there's a lot of them. Should we crack it open? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? I love dollar comics. I don't know why. Just because I can handle them. Maybe I'm not worried about the value decreasing too much. Look at this thing. The cover attached. Right? A little roughed up. All right, let me see if I can give you guys a reflection. Scott, wear and does it have tear? Wear and tear, you know, spine stress and stuff. But the cover is attached. Uh, not a one unless there's some chunk missing from it, right? So if you can find a seller on eBay or any type of seller that uh, beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you the rest. These might pop up randomly. Uh, I'm not sure how he's got them piled on top of each other or beside each other. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, number two, two something. <laughs> Which one is this one? Let's see if we can tell it by the cover. Which one is it? They're in a canoe. Let's see if we can find the canoe by just scrolling. Oh, not that way. Ah, there it is. So this is number 213 from num 1958. Okay. And of costing 99 cents and it's graded as 1.5. Beautiful covers, really. Okay. Here is, I believe I already have one copy of this. Okay. Possibly. Walt Disney on Walt Disney's Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck Giant. It's a special. Okay. And again, this thing cost me 99 cents. Okay. And he's graded this thing as one 1 1.5. And he says there's spine chipping on it. Okay. And uh I believe on this is Carl Burks again. Okay. I th as far as I know, the ones I looked up, I should have looked up all of them. They're all Carl Burks. <laughs> I believe so anyway. Right. Fantastic. I actually had a relative uh, staying with me. Uh, over the weekend and some of the as you know, I, I show you some of the piles of comics that I read. Um, I gave him some, and I gave him uh, uh, a bone, uh, volume one, and uh, some other singles to take with him back to Germany. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, two thirty nine. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Right? Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. What's the what price do we pay for this? Luckily they're all in the same area, so I'm just gonna scroll and find them instead of doing a search. So this is from the 1960s, cost 99 cents, and he must have graded this at 2.5. Goodbye, goodbye. I like it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put these up on the wall. Maybe on uh, the, what do you call it? The molding up top or something, right? And I believe I have two copies of this. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, 210. I think grabbed, I grabbed two copies of this, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And for both, I paid 99 cents. And one of them he graded at 2, 2.5, and the other one he graded at 1.5, 1.8. So they'll be both 2, 2.5s. Okay, from 1958. Nice cover. And I might actually have uh, one of these already in my collection. I don't know the uh, the multiples that I have of Carl Barks. I just if I find uh, find them at extremely reasonable price, I buy them, uh, and then I'll sort them out. I'll figure out what I have doubles of and get rid of them, and uh, possibly uh, you know start getting some of the ones that I don't have. Uh, number two twenty nine. Walt Disney and Comics and Stories, right? Again, 99 cents, 1959. Okay. And it's graded at 1.82. Nice covers. Beautiful covers. Love the colors. Love the colors. 215. Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Two fifteen. Nineteen fifty-eight. Ninety-nine cents. Graded at one one point five. Centerfold is detached. He says, and when he says that, he means that centerfold will be detached. <laughs> I'm giving you, you Dewey and Louis bath, right? <laughs> Number 240. So this would be 1960, 1961, I believe. Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Right? 1960. 99 cent graded at two and keep in mind the covers are all complete there's no chunks missing out of any of them which is super cool super cool i like it walt disney comics and stories 212 hello carl barks 1958 oh this one cost me more than 99 cents this one cost me dollar twenty nine US, and he's graded this thing as three three point five. That's a great deal I got. Really nice cover. Walt Disney Comics and Stories 225. Nineteen fifty-nine. Ninety-nine cents. One point five, one point eight grade. Okay. collection is getting bigger I love it 219 
so glad he put these together. Which one is this? 219. 1958. 99 cents. He's graded this at two. Oh, poor Donald's cold. You do it, Louie. I got the window open. I'm playing with the wind. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge would be flipping, right? He'd be like, oh, electricity bill's going up. Turn off the heat. Turn off the heat. Walt Disney Comics and Stories 232. Must have been Christmas time. 1960 cost 99 cents and is graded this is 1.5 cover is detached five inch spine split is there is cover detached yeah the cover looks like to be detached you can tell from if you just go like that you won't be able to see it through reflection but you can do it so we won't bother pulling it out still will look fantastic framed or just up in mylar I might put these on mylar bags uh, I don't have any golden age mylar bags I gotta get some golden age mylar bags I only have silver age I ran out of my golden age mylar bags have more Walt Disney comics and stories yes we do let's keep on looking at those for now we got three more 216 do not disturb Donald must need rest 216 cost 99 cents it's 216 or 290 Oh, this is 260. Oops, got the wrong one up. Sorry. This should be the same price. Where are you? Where are you? There he is. Yeah, 216, 1958, 99 cents. Graded at 1, 1. 1.5. dollar comics got to love them I think there's two more of these guys 237 going fishing in 237 99 cents 1959 okay graded at 1.5 1.8 center foil is detached and he actually this uh, this uh, this seller it, for cover being not centered right you can tell here right not centered he really knocks it down i don't know you know again I'm not a professional grader but I wouldn't knock something down that much for not being centered number 233 233 let's see if we can find it should be able to there it is 1960 99 cents graded at 2 2.5 nice <laughs> they're taking water water out of the uh, fish tank here poor fish they're like what's going on Take a look at these 
these guys. Let's see if we can do a rhyme and reason for these. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, let me put these, let me show you these guys first. The first Predator series. And I bought these for 99 cents. I know, I know what I bought them for. I'm pretty sure they're all like around the nine grade. Let me just pop them up and I'll do them one shot. 1989 it came out. Okay. Yeah, they're around the eight, seven, seven to eight range. Okay. And the reason I bought this is because here, let me show you. This is number, let me put them in a semi order. This is number four, number three, number two. Here, we'll go with number two first. I have number two, I have number one, right? In the 90s, you just got Predator, right? I have number one, but I don't think I have number three and four. And I brought, grabbed number two just to be on the safe side. Okay. So here's Predator number two mini series a four issue mini series here's number three i like predator movies predator and alien movies i've watched all of them loved uh, many of them liked whatever i didn't love they're just pure fun number four Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter. Predator versus Batman. <laughs> but glad to have these. Finally completed it after like 30 years. Right. Let me get the info on this guy. Or did I? I don't think I wrote the info on this guy. This is Tarzan. Uh, Korax, son of Tarzan. Okay. Mm, I don't know the number on this. Let me show it to you. I do collect some Tarzan stuff. I used to love Tarzan. Korax, son of Tarzan. So let's see what we got. This is number 19 from 1967. Ended up costing me 99 cents and it's graded at 4.55. Nice covers. I really haven't read, I might have read one or two Tarzan comics, but I just like the character. Elephant warriors attack Korak in the, in the land of the ancients. Oh, she's got her girlfriend back there. Check that out. Cool. Now these ones. Okay, I gotta find the names of these ones. Brute number one. Let me pull up the Brute number one from nineteen seventy five. Okay. And this one cost me uh, three dollars US, and he's graded this thing at seven seven point five. And uh, the cover for this is Dick uh, jo Giordano. Giordano. <laughs> he's huge. He was big. He did a lot of work. Okay. And the the writer, I no, the artist for this is uh, Mike Sikowski, and he did a lot of stuff on Justice League and Wonder Woman. Not bad. Happy to have this for three bucks. It's about fair value. Mm. On a good deal side, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Is he man, ape, or monster? The night of the brute. Read the night of the brute. Very nice. 1975. I like it. From Atlas Comics. 
take a look at this one let me show you this one first oh okay let me show you this one first beyond the grave number six okay cover steve ditko nice art bob layton is involved actually i think bob layton did the pencils or the art or the inks and joe gill's done work in this too okay let me uh find out what i paid for this i paid two dollars and 14 cents for this and it's graded at 5.56 i'll take it for a steep that go cover with bob layton and gil kane or joe gill not gil kane joe gill artwork right beautiful charlton comics what was the year on this 1976 right and since we're talking about beyond the grave how about the beyond the grave number one nice <laughs> and the cover for this is uh da, 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 where is it beyond the grave number one beyond the grave there it is uh the work for this is steve ditko and joe gill again okay and that 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 let's find it beyond the grave number one 1975 okay ended up cost me 494 us and he's graded this thing at 6.57 nice cover Let's see that. there's a couple there and the ghost cool all new i'll take it thank you check this out check this out i believe i got this for 99 cents you believe it 1977 graded at 8 8.5 the eternals number 15 jack kirby right can't beat that if i see this in a dollar bin i'm grabbing it speedy gonzalez style right in this condition 8.5 8 yep thank you final fury as titans clash I grabbed this one too the scorpion this one came did i grab this one is this by itself or was it a double let's see if we can find it the scorpion this was by itself scorpion number two from 1975 okay uh, i paid 99 cents again it's a dollar comic uh he's graded a five okay did I take any notes for this? I might have. Oh yeah, check this out. Uh, the art for this, Howard the uh, Chuck, Ch I can't even pronounce it. Chaiki, Chaiki, the guy who came up with the uh, American flag. So it's a big deal, right? It was good, nine nine cents, and he was graded yeah five. worth a dollar worth a dollar okay let's grab some more oh we got more Walt Disney comics and stories Ooh, look at these nice oh yeah <laughs> look at these kids <laughs> let me show you the Walt Disney comics and stories we got a couple more here I think oh one more anyway this is 192 Maybe this one I paid more than 99 cents for. I don't know. Let's check it out. Uh, they're painting. Actually, let's do a search. 192. 192. 
No, 99 cents. 1956. Okay. Cost 99 cents is graded. Well, oh, piece is missing from the first inside pages upper corner and he's graded as a one point five and one so should we take a look let's take a look let's see what made him kick this down to a one I'm curious Cover is nice. Take a look. Cover is very nice. What's missing? Oh yeah, take a look. All right. So it is incomplete. Well, it's, yeah, it is incomplete. The story is missing. All right. So he's kicking it down to 0.51 for this. I mean, the cover doesn't have any chunks missing rips or tears so i don't know if that's a legit thing to do as far as grading goes we will look into grading comics at some point but we'll have to look up uh exactly what the what the criteria are right right because if this wasn't missing this thing would be graded without a doubt five to six right so does it kick it down that much? <laughs> awesome. a little bit close fun Donald, when he gets pissed, he just goes crazy. Look at that. Fun. Fun stuff. Yeah, at some point we'll get into the grading stuff. Just to see. Right? Now. We got the same guys as here so let me see if i can organize these guys a little bit of what's coming up oh here's the other one oh, let me show you these two guys they came together let me close this so again planet of the apes okay Forbidden zone. Oh, it didn't come with this one. This was something else. Um, and this one came with uh, Midnight Surfer. Midnight Surfer. This is number three. Where the other one was Midnight Surfer. One of them came with Handy of the Apes. Look at this one. This one and another comic, Midnight Surfer, uh, number two, cost 99 cents. I really would like to know why this uh, this is sought after this series other than it being a low print run I didn't look up to see who the artists and stuff were on this uh, and he's graded this thing as 8 8.5 no Midnight Surfer we saw with the other one so I must have shown you guys uh, the other forbidden planet that was with another planet of the apes Wait, did he send me two of these I gotta check into this I'll check to make sure all the comics are here at some point. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna put this guy here for now. We'll put it at the bottom again. I'm pretty sure that one came with something else. Is there another Walt Disney? Oh, here's another one. Here's Walt Disney Comics and Stories, number 209. Again, 99 cents. 
and uh, he's graded this thing as 1.5, 1.8. Piece is missing from upper right corner, so you can check this out. That part is missing. The only one that we've offered 99 cents that has a something missing from the cover. <laughs> nice. Okay. Check this out. Let me show you these guys. They're all together for one series. And they're all from one story arc. <laughs> uh, it's something I don't have. I'm glad to have. Let me pull this one out too. in order let me put these in order okay i'll read off the numbers maybe i'll ring a bell 124 121 120 125 123 126 117 116 115 119 118 so let me put these guys like this i think it was missing a couple from the arc i think it's missing number 122 let me see if i can find it here if it is it'd be nice to show you guys all of them one one shot let's see oh more walt disney comics and stories look at this look at this look at this do we do we do we oh there's that stuff i wanted to show you yeah i was missing one issue that was 122 it's missing so let me make sure i got the grades on these correct because they should all be uh very high grade they're from 19 uh sorry 2014 they're all you know they're graded 9.8 10 but they're not 9.8 10 they all cost me 99 cents each individually right yeah he's grading them all at 9.810 this is the walking dead okay <laughs> all out war we'll count it down okay let me put this guy here number 126 they're all mint One twenty five. I think the last season of Walking Dead was covering the story arc of the previous season, the TV series. Right. One twenty four. I'm happy to have these dollar bagged and boarded. <laughs> right. I just got to get one twenty two now. 123 where is the tiger where is the tiger Negan 121 120 119 nice covers 118 117 116 and I believe all out war started off with 115 right and here's 115 Rick is pissed why is Rick not pissed 
Nice. Happy to have this. And a good deal. And a good deal. I'll take him for a dollar. Nice. Great shape. Great shape. Take a look at this. This one's rough shape. Well, it's low grade. Okay. This is Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos from 1963. Okay. Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos number three from 1963. Okay. Awesome. Uh, this one cost me 321 and it's graded at uh, 1.5, 1.8 spine wear and tear and uh, yeah spine is rough right you'll see it better if i take it out but i don't want to take it out it's got wear and tear on there take a look right. so it's low grade and sergeant fury this is jack kirby i'm pretty positive this is jack kirby but i wrote it down anyway let me grab my notes from under the comics that i put on here <laughs> so this is check this out this is jack kirby right pencils dick airs did the inks and dick airs is the same person that i had or shadow we had to do the cover of lander number one right so dick airs cover uh, dick airs inks stanley wrote this and sam rosen did the lettering very happy to have this for 321 even a low grade fantastic fantastic mandrake the magician i have this you've seen it i i pulled this out did i write down did i take any notes on this i don't think i did it's just so familiar to me um but i never remember but i never remember i never remember check this out mandrake the magician number six i i i don't know if i have the full set for these the series okay so i know i have this one so i won't be picking up another copy on this one unless i can get it at a ridiculously good price this was sort of fair value I paid for this uh, I paid uh, let's check it out actually I got a good deal on this <laughs> this was uh, 271 US and it's greater for 4.5 uh, maybe it's fair value 271 okay from 1967 happy to have it worth having in the collection I forget it the uh, who did the work for this okay. this one take a look at this you've seen this one before okay let me get the info for it this is flash gordon number five right this is probably the third copy of this i have okay and uh, let me see how much it cost me this thing cost and I've paid uh, for the copies I have I paid anywhere between a dollar to 350 for them in this grade this one cost a dollar 34 US and it's graded as 6 6.5 so the grades I have of this are anywhere between 5 to like 8 or something so the prices vary accordingly okay who worked on this Archie Goodwin Al Williamson Larry Ivy, 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 Ivik. My writing sucks, so I never remember names. Okay, Al Williamson is EC Comics, right? Archie Goodwin is huge, huge. Happy to have this. Another copy. It's good for trades. And at some point, when I go through my collection, I'm which might be sooner rather than later uh, doubles and triples and stuff I get uh, I might be unloading them okay take a look at this one 
Uh, this one I paid. I do have. I believe I have this. If you recall, we did a huge, huge daredevil buy. This is daredevil number eighty. Okay, and this is a uh, low grade. I think this is graded at two, two point five, and I ended up paying. Uh, I would have liked to have paid a dollar for this. <laughs> it's from nineteen seventy one, right? But I paid two fourteen for this. Fair value, okay. And he's graded this set as a two. Cover is detached from lower staple. It's got spine wear and tear. Okay. Yeah, but no chunks missing. Fair value, two dollars and fourteen cents. You could probably find uh, something in much higher grade, at a, maybe a little bit more than what I paid. Okay, worth it. Check this out. Oh, here's another Walking Dead. Oh, one twenty-two, one twenty-two, nice. <laughs> here's one twenty-two, Walking Dead. I wasn't missing it very nice very nice happy to have happy to have all right happy to have happy to have check out this one captain america 104 all right this one is low grade but i got a good price on it should be jack kirby okay 104 i paid 294 for this and he's graded as 2 2.5 and it says minor staining on front cover i i don't know i don't think this minor right there i wouldn't call that minor like this part too right so i would call that staining but it still looks nice okay this should be stanley and jack kirby I wonder if I took any notes on this one. Some of the stuff that's familiar, I just go by memory. Sometimes my memory is very, very wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I wrote it down. <laughs> I went with memory. Oh, here it is. Yeah, Stanley and Jack Kirby. Just to be on the safe side, right? Nice. Well worth it for 294, right? If the staining was in there this would be it would have cost a lot more nice now we got this much to go through okay there's another Walt Disney comics and stories and here's another one nice check this out oh there's three more sweet number two 24 okay Let's see if we can find it. Which one is this one? Uh, 224. Should we just do a search? Oh, there it is. No, there it is. Yeah, there it is. 224. Again, 99 cents. It should be graded at 2 or something. Yeah, graded at 2. Right. Here's the other copy. 210. Glad to have. Now I know I can give that one of them as a gift, right? I might have another copy of that as well. Here's 227. <laughs> nice cover. Again, 99 cents. 227 from 1959. Okay. Graded at 22.5. Happy to have for a dollar. nice check this out davy crockett classic illustrated oh i didn't i don't think i took any notes on this one come back here you go davy crockett did i do i don't think i did uh but this is the first print of oh i did i just wrote down lou uh, uh Cameron okay and he was uh, he was around 1950s he did some work for DC and Marvel as well DC in 1960s 50s and 60s I believe this is the first print okay 
and uh, I end that up. Oh, David Crockett will be down here. This is one of the first batches we got. Where are we? Okay, maybe we have to do a search. My apologies. Hey, where'd it go? What's going on? Let's do Davy. Davy. Hey, it's not showing up. How come? There it is. Oh, because he wrote it down as just Classic Illustrated. My bad. So this is Classic Illustrated 129, first print. I ended up paying 511 for this and he's graded this as 1.5 1.8 okay spine wear tear comic is off center i do have a classic illustrated collection probably you know more in a short box probably the long box of classic illustrated i didn't have this one so i wanted to grab this one okay not a bad price 1955 by the way this came out okay. happy to have check this out I got two copies of this I'll bring them both out here we go and this one blew me away when I looked up who it was that I, <laughs> I must have written it down <laughs> there we go Let me find the prices for these two before we proceed because I'm going to need both hands to hold these up. Well, I'll show you the first cover first. This is Lassie number one, right? One of them is a lower grade, the one behind it is Lassie two, <laughs> right? Where's the other Lassie? There we go. It's found them. So this is Lassie number one. I believe this is the first Lassie series. It might, I might be mistaken on this. Okay. The better grade one, which is this one, the front one, I ended up paying 639 US and it's graded at 2, 2.5. And this one, I paid 445 and it's graded at 1.5, 1.8. Okay, I'll put them beside each other. So you see. This is the grade that's two. This is the grade, take a look. I would, this is the two, that's the 1.5, 1.8, right? It's a good comparison uh, so that's the top of both here's the bottom of both the better grade one higher grade one is the top one okay Oops. and here's the spines again the the front one see the difference so I would have probably graded the bottom one we haven't cracked them open just going going by the covers and here's the this side right I would have graded the top one just going by the cover at 3.5 and I would have graded the bottom one at 2 okay just by the covers or 2.5 it's not detached no okay should we crack it open take a look let's crack open the lower grade one that way we don't do more damage to the higher grade one which is a two anyway that's what he's graded at but i think it's higher let's see what the artwork looks like inside right and the artist for this was uh uh gaylor uh dobas and uh he did work on tarzan that's where i know him from i believe and morris uh mo uh, Gallup and he did work on Turok he did lots of covers on Turok 
and some kind sometimes this guy when he puts the I check almost actually I check all the ones when he puts the backing board he puts the rough one on the cover so he's going through these things fast I think take a look all right so this would be a 2 or 2.5 Take a look. Cover is attached, so it's not bad. 1950 comic, right? Fantastic. Nice artwork. The facial expressions of people. Lassie number one, we like it from Dell. Let's throw this back in its board or back in its bag. Okay, we'll do this later, it's a little tight. Let's check out the rest. Okay, I want to get into these, just make sure we don't have anything. second so blood strike came with val valard blood strike came with this so what did we look at blood strike with i was curious to see where this one came from so the other one i held up blood strike with i can't remember which comic it was it's buried now in the pile but blood strike came with this one i'm not sure if i showed this one we forgot to put it away or not but let me show you these the rest of these lots these books there's one two three four five six seven eight nine comics the wall they're all romance comics okay from golden age of comics and couple into the silver age late 50s just at the edge right and aside from a couple other comics especially the three-dimensional ec comic uh number one um this is what i was looking for for this lot that was really wanted to get my hands on okay and romance comics are something that i just you know last few years i started looking into last not very long okay since i started doing comic book videos because this is a genre that's not around right now not in this not in this form okay i'm not sure why maybe the audience is not there maybe it's coming up now I'm, I'm really I don't know but once I started delving into this I you know I keep my eyes open for these for romance comics uh, and there's a few I have on my watch list some of the stuff is extremely expensive extremely expensive okay uh, some of the stuff is very hard to get get your hands on okay love diaries number 11 how do i put number one here but it should be number 11. take a look at this this is love diaries number 11. okay glimpses into the ultimate secret of girls in love it's a photo cover now this thing cost me and the love comics the romance comics were the most expensive out of the whole everything i bought other than the ec and the uh, great Expo explorer explorers number one right this thing caught is from 1951 cost me 8 19 11 and eight eight dollars and 19 us 
right? And it's graded at 2, 2.5, right? And when I did the search for this, I looked a little bit into it. And I looked at the prices it was going for. It was a good deal. This is a good buy, right? I didn't really look into too deep into who the artists, the creators for this were. Okay. Paul Gustafson. Gust <laughs> Paul Gustafson. His name wasn't familiar to me, so I looked him up. He did work on Marvel Comics number one. One of the stories in Marvel Comics number one, Marvel Comics number one, the one that goes for hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's got work here. Okay. Sam Citrin. He did work. He started working on Superman with Superman in the 1930s, uh, with number in the 19 in the 30s, right? So in the late 1930s, early 1940s, the person, Sam uh, Citron, was doing Superman. He's got work on this. He also did work on Wonder Woman. Check this out. Inking on one of the stories on this is by Bill Ward. And Bill Ward, I recently got into knowing because a comic shop that was that sells some stuff collectibles online on eBay I follow him that he's local he had some build war pinup pinups they he had two of them that he put on eBay okay and I had gone in to buy this was a few months ago to pick up some books a couple of books that I bought from him on the cheap right and he showed me the pinups and the pinups were huge right meter and a half by a meter and a half <laughs> like gigantic pinups that they would take pictures of and print and they would be like this big in a magazine right i try to get my hands on those pinups my maximum bid was like 300 right they went for like 1500 the artwork was phenomenal right he's got inks in this okay lynn uh, Streeter and John Ford also have work in this. Right? Some of the greatest comic book creators from the golden age of comics did romance comics. And romance comics were huge in the, in the golden age of comics and in the Silver Age too in the 1960s. But for some reason, they're not around anymore. Not on this level, right? Fantastic. A comic book store owner uh, in Vancouver told me he had uh, these two I'm gonna show you together he had uh, someone um, a woman come into the store that uh, asked him if he had any uh, check this out I'll show you this one too we'll do this one together and these guys together nice April man nice those two I'm gonna show you at the end this one I'm going to show you and he had some lady come into the store and ask him if he had any romance comic and I goes he has a handful like you know about this much so the lady said oh can I see them so she went there looked through them grabbed all of them went to the front counter and bought all of them <laughs> just bought them all right and she told him that she loved reading these she just couldn't find anything on this level Check out this one, Glamour Romances, number 47, okay, painted cover, beautiful, 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 okay, oh, let me see how much I paid for this, I should give you the prices for these, this one I got on the cheap, wow, 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 this one cost me 274, okay, it's, it's in rough shape, for sure, it's graded at 1.5 cover is detached and uh, split in half so the cover is detached right yeah the cover is detached he's put it on there nicely painted cover okay the painted cover is by alexander redmond okay 
beautiful painted cover. Let me bring you closer so you see. One of the stories for this is by one of the early female comic book creators, Alice Kirkpatrick. Okay. Uh, other creators for this are Ken Rice and Sam uh, Cooper. Okay. Happy to have this. I didn't have this. I'm slowly building up my romance uh, comic book collection uh, from the Golden and Silver Age. Beautiful. Some of these fetch crazy prices. Crazy prices. Love. Love experiences. Let's find this one. Love experiences. Love experiences. Number 38 is from 1956. And you can tell right here, it's after the comic code came into effect, right? This one, and I'm mentioning this because I'm going to do something. I'm going to show you. This one doesn't have the code, right? This one has the code. These ones are nice shape. There were some really good shape comics that I got my hands on here. Okay. This is Love Experiences number 38. It cost me 760 US and it's graded at 4, 4.5. Let's see that we write down anything of this. Love experiences number 38. Ace Publications. And this is is this the one? This is the one. This is the last issue from this series. Okay. Happy to have. When the comic code came into effect, it heard a lot of horror and romance. Uh, and sci-fi books publishers okay so i'm not sure if this was the last issue because of the comic code code kicking into effect uh, or not and this was cover b there were two different covers by the way there's two different covers for number uh, 38 this is a second cover it came out a month after the first cover came out okay First one came out in June, this one, or two months. This one came out in August, okay, August 1956. For the numbering, anyway, I'm not sure if they tell the same story. I think they do. Otherwise, they wouldn't put it at the same number. Real love, romances from life. Check out this one. Real love number 71. This one is 1955. See, this has already got the comic code on it, eh? Interesting. The comic code, I believe, well, I guess it kicked in 1955, but I believe it should have been 1956, 1950, or Golden Age goes to 1958. I might have my timelines a little mixed up. So Golden Age might include some of the comic code stuff as well. Okay. Code of approval. This one cost me 1023 US. And it's graded as 6.57. Okay. This was number 71. Check this out. Okay. Bill Everett has work in this. Okay. Bill Everett was a creator of Daredevil. Okay. He did Namor, right? Namor he introduced in Marvel Comics number one. Same as the, the other one, Marvel Comics number one. The person who did Marvel Comics number one has a story in there with Namor in there, I believe. Okay, that comic that sells for hundreds of thousands of dollars because it's Marvel Comics number one has work in this. Right. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Amazing. Don Pearl. I took some notes. I'm like, I couldn't believe who did work on this. Don Pearl has work in this, okay? And he created Moon Knight, right? He did some early work on Ghost Rider and Well War. Um, what do you call it? Werewolf by Night, right? The creator of Moonlight has work in this. Amazing. Very happy to have this, and it's a high grade, mid high grade. Hard to get these things at mid high grades or high grades nice copy that's why it cost me 1023 okay 
Real love. This was, uh, what was the date on this one? This was December 1955. This is November 1956, and I believe this is the last issue of Real Love. Okay. And it's sometimes very hard to, this is Real Love number 76. It came out in 1956. And some of the stuff uh, for the romance books, it's really hard to find out who the artists, who the creators for these were. This one cost five eighty nine, dollars okay? And it's graded a 6.57. Very happy to have this. And this was the last issue for the series. Fantastic. Two weeks with love. Just a vacation flirtation to him. Behind our, behind our breakup. Was I too spoiled for love? Look at this stuff. I don't know why this stuff is. Well, I guess reality TV. I don't know. I don't know. Real love. Here's another one. Real love. Which number is this one? Which one is this one? That's that one. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Let's find this one. Is it that one? It is that one real love number 74 okay cost 735 and he's graded to 6.57 again happy to have this okay any extra notes i have on this no i don't think so i don't think i could find out who the artists were for this not yet anyway at some point we might Check out this one. Three more books to go. This one I was very happy to get. This, the story of this really tripped me up. Okay. This is uh, Romance Secrets number, oh sorry, Romantic Secrets number 13. Right? Romantic Secrets number 13. Where are you? cost 621 US and it's graded a 5 5.5 okay now let me tell you a little bit about this which is something I didn't know existed I found out about something that I didn't know existed okay this is Fawcett publications okay the same people that came out with Wiz Comics, Captain Marvel and stuff like this, right? But what happened was, sorry, this is uh, Fawcett or Charlton? Charlton, though. Anyway, I went down the rabbit hole for this, right? So I went down the rabbit hole. I found out that there was a comic book series, romance comic book series called negro romances from the 1950s wow all right they printed three issues okay so there's three issues if you can get your hands on them they're extremely expensive i try to track some down and phew, you can't get it on ebay there's like photocopied reprints and stuff like this right so i put them on my watch list negro romances one two three from number four the name changed i believe it was from number five though um you know some of the info is a little hazy okay two romantic secrets right this one i believe is the second series of romantic secrets or the first series i'm not sure if this is the one i looked it up but i forget now i should have written it down and i didn't this series might be the one that kicked off from the Negro romances one two three okay I believe it is okay so this series actually starts off with number five I believe and this is number 13 in the series in the list okay very happy to have this one of the reasons is I learned I did some research and tracked down some of the history of this and I you know I didn't jot down who did the work for this and stuff my apologies I got, went down a rabbit hole into 
uh, the other romance books and a little history of that stuff, which was fantastic. Okay. Here's the last two comics we got. Okay. And we're going to read, look at these. And let me. Oh, there's one book missing here. Check this out. Yeah, there's one book I'm supposed to have, which is Grim Fa Fairy Tales Presents Oz Number One. And uh, it was Eric Basal Basaldua uh, doing the cover for it, which is not included in this, which is unfortunate. I'll have to send him a message saying that he missed that one. He should have sent that one as well. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, yeah that's unfortunate that's okay uh he'll be straight up he'll send it i'm not worried about that but check this out uh where should we go i got sidetracked i got sidetracked here let me show you the covers for this and who are the artists for this let me write this down oh 10 10 where right, there we go here we go 10 story love okay here let me tell you the prices for these 10 story love 10 story love where are we come on no oh, we gotta bring this up 10 Here we go, 10 story love. There's the first one. And where is the other one? Oh, here's the other one. Cool. Okay. So this one is 10 story love, volume 35, number three. Okay, this one cost thirteen sixty three. Okay, and he's graded this is seven point five eight. Okay, the people that worked on this: Joe Gillia, John Belfi, and Anne Brewster. Okay, keep that name in mind, Anne Brewster. We're going to read that story from Anne Brewster here, and if you notice on the cover, there's no comic authority stamp on here right so this is pre-comic code kicking into effect okay this one is 10 story love volume 35 number four so it's the next issue over right so this one came out first this one came out second and comic code authority had taken into effect and they put the stamp on there right so this was 1955 right cost 1364 greatest 7 7.5 8 7.58 this one is 1955 again it's an excess you over comic code approve right and it's graded 5.56 but i really wanted this one okay so i ended up paying 1838 for this a little bit steep but i really wanted to get these to be able to add these to our readings to read one story from the same writer that wrote in this one as well so this one came first this one second and Anne brewster has a story in this and a story in this and what i'd like to do is read both stories that Ann Brewster wrote and Ralph Owen Olin and Al Hast uh, Hartley also have stories in this one too but I'm really focused on the Ann Brewster one because uh, she was one of the early female comic book creators in the medium uh, coming up in the golden age of comics so I'm very curious to see uh, what it's like and you know um, and this is Ace Publication the Kirby um, what do you call it i read some of the history of Anne brewster and the kirby museum website uh, i believe that's what it's called anyway right 
So we'll have a read through both these and flip through both of them and read one story from each one. Okay, and they're both high grade, which is fantastic, which is really good. Awesome. Awesome. And that's the comic book haul. That should be, I guess, 74 books. Um, because there's one other book that's supposed to be in here. And the Oz book, uh, what did I end up paying for that one? I'm not going to show you the cover because I don't have it. But uh, there it is. So it was Oz uh, number one. Gr uh, Grim Fairy Tales Oz number one from 2013. I ended up paying 318, 314 for it. It's graded at 9.810. So it's a very good copy and it's a beautiful cover. Um, I definitely want to get that uh, shipped to me as well. Okay, so that's our comic book haul, uh, our most recent comic book haul. Very happy to getting to be getting back into buying some golden age stuff we did a whole bunch of stuff from modern age of comics buying runs and sets and i really wanted you know what we ended up getting because i've missed out on a lot of comics uh, just budget wise and we're able to get a lot of you know thousand modern age comics for average you know less than a dollar canadian no less than a dollar us uh, or you know about 70 cents 75 cents us a pop bagged and boarded delivered in mint condition so you couldn't pass up that stuff someone was getting rid of their collection but uh very happy to be getting back into this and getting my hands on some ec comics and romance comics and we got some number ones here as well which is fantastic 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 um i hope you enjoy it uh, nice little comic book haul and uh, for those of you watching live i hope um, i hope it was uh it was while we're staying up to the wee hours in the morning because there's some people watching uh, in Europe and stuff. We're doing this in the evening in the West, West Coast time, right? Uh, aside from that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.